terrifying today. Europe's most dangerous volcano rumbles, and Italians weigh the risks. As the Phlegraean Fields volcano awakens, scientists debate the danger posed by a monster thought to have caused Europe's most violent eruption in prehistoric times. Pozzuoli, Italy, in the red zone of the awakening Phlegraean Fields, Europe's most dangerous volcano, 2,000-year-old ruins rise from the earth, pushed upward by hydrothermal forces. The waterline recedes at docks as the ground rises. Thousands of earthquakes, including one that forced 1,500 people into temporary shelters, have sent shockwaves of fear through coastal communities. Residents continue to pack emergency bags, bracing for more big quakes or, worse, an eruption that some experts fear could be catastrophic. Nearly 80,000 people happily inhabit the sulfurous caldera, playing soccer in the streets and cooking delicious ragas in apartments with sweeping views of Capri and Ischia, emerald islands across the Bay of Naples. In all, an estimated 485,000 people live in the danger zone defined by the smoke-belching giant that the ancient Romans considered the gateway to hell. The most pessimistic experts have even suggested it might be time to consider moving, leaving residents with a stark choice, should they stay, or should they go? The crisis has intensified a debate in Italy's scientific community about the extent of the threat posed by the eight-mile-wide monster, pockmarked with more than two dozen craters and believed to have caused the most catastrophic eruption in prehistoric Europe. There is no indication of a sudden rise in magma that would signal an imminent eruption. Volcanic events, however, can be highly unpredictable, and the new cycle of volcanic earthquakes, along with measured ground rise of 2 cm per month, is worrying. The eruptions could range from the small eruption that toppled a boardwalk in Yellowstone National Park last month to something catastrophic. Experts say the fields have the potential to wreak havoc more than Mount Vesuvius, about 25 miles away, did when it destroyed Pompeii in 79 AD. Several scientists have warned of the potential tipping point but none more so than Giuseppe Mastro Lorenzo, a senior researcher at Italy's National Institute of Geophysics and Volcanology INGV, who has been embroiled in a public spat with the agency he serves, arguing that it has not taken the threat seriously enough. He describes a worst-case scenario in which deep fissures open in the earth, spewing mushroom clouds of toxic gas, superheated ash and pyroclastic material. At night, the emissions would be overwhelmed by lightning strikes. Coastlines would be blanketed in a deadly black veil. The resulting grayish-white ash and rock would blanket the land. Even a much smaller but still powerful eruption, he said, could destroy the entire metropolitan area of Naples, with its three million inhabitants. The pressure could be released like a bomb, he said standing in the blazing sun and gazing down at the huge crater lake formed during the last significant Phlegraean eruption in 1538. Some of his own superiors, as well as Pozzuoli mayor Luigi Manzoni, dismissed the talk as scaremongering, arguing that there was no need to abandon this sunny land now. The dangers were serious but manageable, the threat of a major eruption was far away. The bigger threat, they said, was a new wave of volcanic earthquakes. They believed that could be managed without the costly evacuations and building reinforcements that occurred in the 1980s, when the Phlegraean fields last rumbled. 